the, the very catchy aspect of pop and I love the the hard thumper thumper in dance music and sometimes it just makes you wanna you feel like you can do anything and the sky's the limit when you hear those beats and it's so euphoric and um I love soul because it's so it, it gets down to the nitty gritty and it gets down to the the storytelling of a struggle of your life and you can relate to some of the lyrics. Sometimes you need things that you can relate to and not just things you can relate to, but things that are going to help you get through your situations because no one wants to dwell on harsh shit every day. But something real with a message of you can get out of tough times. And I love R because I love sultry, sexy things and I love very... Um, sexy lyrics and raunchy lyrics <laughs> so not saying all r&b has that but that's the kind of r&b i like to listen to and lo i love love songs and, and i love ballads because they were my favorite um beyond has to be the biggest inspiration um ever since i heard bugaboo on the radio um I'm, I'm influenced by a lot of contemporary artists such as Lady Gaga and Adele. I think what they do is absolutely amazing. I love bubblegum pop because that's what I grew up on around the time. That's when I got cable and <clears throat> I started looking at TV and music videos. And that was around the time Britney Spears and Saint blew up. And they made me want to do this. Their creative videos, the dancing, the, um, the, their performances, it made me want to just be an entertainer. And I'm also influenced by a lot of soul, bluegrass, some um, really old country music because I feel like they have a lot of soul in their music and I love drums and I love horns and I love just that live element of pianos and things of that nature. I got into Rita Franklin and Elvis Presley and Marvin Gaye. Um, as far as back as Billie Holiday, growing up in Baltimore was hard. My high school was was the pivotal moment of my upbringing, I feel. And going to high school, I didn't live in the hood, and I didn't live in a, a impoverished area. And I, I went to high school with a lot of kids like that, and it made me really appreciate where I came from and and people who really had to struggle and not people who want to say oh I'm from this group, part of town just to be cool I really experienced people from that part of the town and it made me humble and it, it grounded me and it made me see a different side to life that I think people don't realize and don't know it allows me to tap into a certain entertainment aspect that I don't think a lot of communities have as far as really taking entertainment and and put it on a show because it comes with a lot of glitz and glamour and glitter and confetti and bold colors. It's a sacred untapped place that I don't think a lot of people get to experience because despite all the harsh shit that we deal with, despite the harsh shit that we have to deal with, you have a community that thrives off of just being, wanting to be and needing to be fucking happy. and. It's, it's it's a magical thing. I don't know what it is, but it, it's fucking pure magic. 